Here with head coach of the Steinbeck Pistons, Rich Goslin. Rich, give us a quick update on the injuries and what's the plan for tomorrow's game. Wow, well, uh, you know, the the injury bug has hit us pretty hard over the last uh, week or so. Uh, we've got Kyle Rouse who's still got problems with concussion. Uh, Ogre's got problems with concussion. we got Richie who's got a problem with uh, with the groin. Uh, We've got Kabalka who's got a problem with the groin, and these guys are not going to be playing tomorrow night for sure. Might be a possibility for Friday. We've got uh, Bo Leonard that's got a problem with the knee that uh, he's gone to see specialists today, so we don't know what the, what that's going to be uh, coming out like, but from what I hear, it might be a little bit more serious than we thought. And obviously, Brant Henry Norton has got a big gash above his uh, his calf, and, and that was pretty deep, so he's looking at a few weeks for sure, probably four to five, maybe six weeks out, so... Uh, and uh, that's that's you know obviously that's a big part of our lineup. But you know what? Like we told our players today, I mean it's an opportunity for you guys. I mean, you know we got to come here ready to play tomorrow night and play as hard as we can because all of the teams that I've coached, the games that I played in, where we were kind of low on numbers and. You know what? We always came up and played big games. I don't know what the reason is, but I think there's a little bit more pressure. Players know that they're going to be playing a lot more, and and and, and they're ready to play. And then and they they use most of the time they're they're up for the challenge. Well, all the odds were against us on Sunday with 14 skaters in the lineup against uh, the Winnipeg Saints. You guys go into tomorrow's game. You probably coming off one of the gutsiest wins you've had this season. Um, how do you keep that momentum going into tomorrow's matchup against the Blues? Well, you know what? This is one guy that I forgot to mention that he got hurt, and, and that's the way we got to play tomorrow night. I mean, Connor Sisson, you know, he 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 made a big uh, uh, he made a big block for the team. Uh, I mean, he wanted to win. And uh, he went down and blocked a shot. Unfortunately, he got the shot in the back of the head. But that's the type of uh, that's the type of game we got to play tomorrow night. We got to be we got to be um, blocking shots. We got to finish hits. We got to keep it simple. And uh, the guys got to have short shifts. And uh, well, we're going to come out. And if we get the type of goaltending we've had, I mean, Mitch was uh, was just unbelievable the night. You know when he was in a zone. I mean, you could see he came close to the bench a couple of times, and you could see in his eyes that he was in a zone. And I remember seeing Brent Zelenowicz uh, when we played the Allen Cup in the final of the Allen Cup. I remember coming to the bench and I looked at his eyes and he had that, that he was in a zone. I mean, I talked to him. He didn't, I, I'm sure he didn't hear what I have to say. But uh, I thought Mitch was in that type of a zone tomorrow night. So, you know, I hope he brings that zone tomorrow. Well, were, how concerned were you going into Sunday's game with goaltending? Because you guys allowed 21 goals in the past three games. And then how refreshing was it to see Backhouse step in and just really be a wall in the net for you guys? First of all, I was concerned. I got to admit that I was concerned because I don't think we had very good goaltending in the last three games uh, that we played. And uh, you know, it comes to it comes a time when when the goaltending, if it if, if you know, it's going to happen. I mean, there's going to be nights where goaltending is, is 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 a little bit off, and you get a couple soft goals. But if it happens too many too many times in repetition and in, in, in games one after the other, it's it's tough for the team to be uh, concentrated. I thought that the game that we played against the Saints the other night, we started off pretty good. I mean, you know, we, we knew they were going to push it big of the periods at the beginning of the first period uh, but then we got a, we let in a couple of soft goals and and after the third goal you kind of sensed it on the bench that the players saying oh mom we're, we're in trouble tonight so goaltending is such a huge part of the game and and it's very difficult for young players we've got 293s and that's a lot of pressure for them but you know they've worked hard to be at this level at the junior a level this is their time and, and this is their time to shine and their time to prove that they belong in this league and i think mitch came back hard the other night and showed that he belongs here he, he's uh you know he played pretty well for us at the beginning of the year and uh, he had a couple of, uh, you know, slow starts. But uh, last night, uh, he, he proved, uh, or I should say the other night or against the Saints, he proved uh, that, that, that he's good.